In Group E, Apollon Limassol take on Everton. Now, both Everton and Apollon failed to keep a clean sheet in the Europa League this season. Both defences are very leaky, as demonstrated in the reverse fixture at Everton, that finished 2 all. Apple and Limassol are in a similar position to them as well, in that they also didn't qualify and are purely playing for pride. Apple have notched in all but one of their five matches, scoring a respectable total of five goals. But both teams have scored in 70% of the pair's Europa League matches this season. My tip for you would be both teams to score. In Group E, Atalanta take on Lyon. Now, this is arguably the most exciting match in the Europa League. Both teams have already qualified as the group's top two, but both will want to finish as number one. Leon have to win, whilst a draw would be enough for Atalanta, who are unbeaten in the Europa League. They earned a one or draw away to Leon earlier in the campaign. The Italian side are actually unbeaten in their last nine home matches in all competitions, winning seven of those. Leon have won each of their last five on the road and have recorded three 5 0 wins in that time. There have been over 2.5 goals scored in 11 of Lyon's last 13 games in the Europa League, so my tip for you would be both teams to score. In Group D, Austria-Vienna take on AEK Athens. Austria-Vienna have to win in order to prolong their European campaign. A victory here would put them level on points with AEK Athens in second place, but Vienna would actually have the advantage on the head-to-head -head record. Austria-Vienna have only won three of their last 15 competitive matches, losing eight times in that run. They've even lost five of their last six on home soil, and AEK Athens have drawn their last four Europa League matches. My tip for you would be both teams to score. Real Sociedad take on Zenit St. Petersburg in Group L. Now, both teams are actually already qualified, but the result will determine who wins the group and who actually gets the easier draw. Zenit need to avoid defeat, while Real Sociedad need a win here. There's been loads of goals between the two teams. They've actually been 29 so far, so there are bound to be more in this game. Real Sociedad have actually lost back-to-back -back matches and have only won one of their last five in all competitions. They've only won four of ten home matches this season and Zenit have struggled in the league as well. They're currently second and six points behind Lokomotiv Moscow, but have won four of the five group matches in the Europa League. My tip for you would be both teams to score. Arsenal take on Barto Borisov at the Emirates. Arsenal have sealed their place in the next round as group winners, so this game is a formality where Arsene Wenger will likely experiment with the youth players. Now, Barto Borisov have not travelled well in this competition, and their previous away match saw them thrashed 5-2 by Köln. Arsenal have been struggling to score in the Europa League, only scoring one in their last three games. Meanwhile, Barto can still qualify for the knockout stages if other results do go their way and they win here at the Emirates. My tip for you would be under 2.5 goals.